Okay guys, this is the monogram section of it. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at these monogram models. I don't have them all. Um, this is the Stumpanzer, the German grizzly bear. So I'll put you down right here for now. Open you up. And let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, we've got the Stumpanzer right and inside we have the tips on building these are always really cool um, these dioramas were uh, created by Mr. Payne I believe it's Shepard Payne and he does have a couple of modeling books out how to make dioramas and how to make tanks armor vehicles this is very cool and you got the directions and pretty cool I believe we get three figures with the Brumba yeah so with the Brumba you, you get three German figures those three right there very cool tank circa 1973 yeah 1973 the armor series catalog we got going on. So that's the stun panther. Okay, let's put you here. And we'll reach over and get the new acquisition, the Ostvin Flak Panzer 4. Yep, we're gonna have to put you down again. I have to look at the commander. Right there. got in this one we have the armor series catalog I have to put that under a book huh flatten it out tips on building dioramas for the Osfind Pretty neat. This one here, this flak panzer, she's got um. There's two figures here. That one definitely needs to be trimmed up a bit. Looks more like a Kevlar helmet than a German helmet. And so we got two there, and it looks like we got two more here. One, two, so there's four figures there. Oh, five figures. So you get five figures with this one. So you get one, two, three, four, and five. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. 
So my evil plan to take over the world is to get the entire armor series that Monogram put out. Put your hair up and out. Okay, what's next on the chopping block? We have we have the flat panzer, the verbal wind. And this one has this right here. It's in a different catalog. Complete monogram kits. Monogram models. Oh, you can send away for your big 36 page monogram catalog okay that's pretty neat your armor series the diorama oh this one's tips on building the diorama but it's not in color that's a shame but it's still it works because you got on the side you've got in color what they did okay and this one I believe should have two figures yep yeah, there's one there's the sitting down guy, and there's the commander right there. So there's your two figures there. These guys. That's the flock ponzer. And of course, my favorite. The Panzer Kampf wagon. I, I believe we <clears throat> we went through this in depth one one video ago. Yeah, I was fighting real hard to make this a complete set. I don't think there's tips in this one. There's, this is circa what 1970. And 73, so the first one came out in 70, and then in 1973. Made in the USA. Monogram, copyright, doesn't have the date though. Okay, so this was 73, 70 and 73. 70, 73. Um... The flag panzer was what? The flag panzer was. Oh, that's not cool. What do we got for 1972? So that was 1972. This flag, the verbal wind, is 1972. We got 70, 73, 1972. I forgot what the Brumba was. Sorry, guys. Uh, Brumba was 1973. And the Ostwind was... Nineteen seventy four was the Osman. So there's the four 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 of the German tanks which I'm missing the Stumjutz the Panzerjaga. That's it. So I'm missing two. I'm missing the Stug. And I'm missing the Panzerjager. So that's what I'm missing for that. 
for the for the four. So there's actually six German tanks. Yep, six German tanks. Panzer Kampfwagen four. The Stug, which I don't have. Panzer Jager, which I don't have. The Stumpanzer, which I do have right there. Flakpanzer Wilhelm and Flakpanzer Austrian. Yep. So what was that? The East Wind and the West Wind? Is that right? Wilhelm Wind and the Austrian. So I've got those four. All I need to complete my German tank set is the Stug and the Jaga, the Panzer Jaga. And then. We move on to this stuff at a later time. We'll figure that one out. Uh, we do have the last remaining, the uh, SDKVZ Panzer Spa Wagon will be coming. So that'll be, that'll be coming in the mail pretty soon. So there'll be those five for the Germans. And then we got what well, for American tanks. We got the, the the Lee, the Grant, and the Sherman. And then the Sherman Screaming Mimi. Uh, we've got the two and a half ton truck. We got the Jeep. We got the personnel carrier, the half track. Now, um, we do. These are the remakes, which is the personnel carrier and the arm and half track. Those two right there. I'm gonna make these. So I'm gonna make those. We got the patent tank here for modern day. We got the old patent tank there for modern day. And then we've got the weasel, the troops, the infantry, the armored car. This is the newer armor car. And this is the armor series. And what I'm trying to do is get all the armor series one. I'm sorry, that all the armor series. Collect up all the armor series. These are pretty cool. Um but I, I picked it up because it was cheap. But here we got an Armored Series Weasel. The troops there. Armored car. So that's what I'm doing. So I need two more of these. And then we're good to go. This came out really good. I like this. Alright guys. So that's it for my monogram. For my, uh, my German tanks. We're missing two German tanks. And then one uh, 232 KFC. KFC. Yeah, KFC. KFZ, not KFC, not Kentucky Fried Chicken, but um, but that is on its way. The uh, Ahmed Car is on its way. Man, it would have been cool if Monogram made the half track, but oh well, can't have everything. All right, guys, so that's it for the German Armor Tank Armor Series of Monogram from the 70s. From 1970 to, I believe, 74 will be the build-up of the Monogram Armor Series. So, you can pick up, Ravel did it, but you can pick up these right here on eBay real cheap. Um, the Panzer Attack Tanks, which is the same thing as... Your Panzer Kampf wagon down here, it's just a little bit cheaper, and it's actually a really good build. It's a 132nd scale tank. Uh, do it, yep, they have it listed as 132nd scale right there. And I got this real cheap because of the parts and stuff for my last video, but this is what she ended up looking like. So she came out pretty good. I like it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay sane. It's a crazy world out there, and uh, take care of yourselves, and we'll see what happens, right? Be good to each other. Take care. God bless.